Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a lightning bolt out of nothing in Photoshop. Um, this kind of comes off of a, another tutorial that I made uh, recently which uh, showed you how to make a bright sunny picture into a, a gloomy, stormy picture that also included a lightning bolt, but uh, I realized that there was some value in uh, just doing the lightning bolt by itself. Uh, so sorry if you already saw that uh, tutorial and you've already learned this, but uh, this is for those who didn't and uh, it should go a little quicker so that you don't have to do all the other steps in that other tutorial. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to get into it. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is, uh, sorry about this, it's asking me to update some of my software. Um, first thing we want to do is unlock this background layer, or actually what, what I'll do is I'm just going to add a new layer, um, just by going down to my new layer here, and uh, clicking there, and then I'm going to make that background layer invisible. The next thing I want to do is go over to my gradient, if you see the paint bucket, just click and hold down and go over to your gradient tool. But we're going to make a gradient, and it's going to be a, uh, a normal uh, linear gradient. As you can see, I have this one selected up at the top. And I'm just going to do a little area, kind of like that. Something like that would be perfect. You could do it more in the middle. More in the middle actually would be great. I'll just do one, something like that. If it looks like that, you're golden. Uh, the next thing that you do is you go up to Filter. You go down to Render. Clouds, difference, uh, well, you want to get difference clouds, render. And uh, as you can see, you get something that looks kind of like this. Uh, the next thing that you do is go to image, uh, adjustments, and down to invert. And as you can see, you get a nice bright area right in the middle here. And uh, the next thing you do is you go to image, adjustments, um, let's see, we want to do our levels. And we're going to uh, mess around with these levels until we get something that looks like a lightning bolt. It looks like I'm I got two lightning bolts. Uh, depending on how you have your program set up, it's going to react a little bit differently. I'm going to go ahead and just stick with something pretty close to that. And press OK. And uh, then what you'll do is. Open up your image that you want uh, the lightning bolt to be in. So I'll go File, Open. And I think I have one on the desktop here that I wanted. Um, yes, Storm. And you open that up. And what you'll do is you'll simply take this lightning bolt that you just made and you'll just drag that layer right into the image that you want it in. And then you can close this out if you want. I'm not even going to save it. Whoops. Um, still had my gradient selected there. Uh, what you'll do is you're going to change this, uh, this uh, the blend setting mode to your lightning layer to, uh, I believe it's either overlay, it looks like it might be screen. Yes, screen is what you want. Um, and it's going to give you something that looks kind of like that. And uh, if you have something that looks like this, you're going to want to get rid of one of these, or you can copy it and put it into a different layer. I'm going to get just get rid of one, so I'm going to make this a clipping mask on this layer, or a quick mask, um, and I'm going to just erase one of them with the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase the one on the left, because I like the one on the right a little bit more. Um, you can, when you uh, play with the levels, you can certainly get rid of some of this uh, cloudiness around the lightning bolt if you want, uh, just by, by changing that, and you can, uh, you can certainly take the saturation down in this layer if you want to get rid of some of these layers. I'll just show you actually how to do that. Uh, go up to Image, uh, Adjustments, um, oh, you see I have my, my mask uh, selected. If you have the, the lightning bolt selected, you go to Adjustments, you go to Hue and Saturation, and you just simply can desaturate uh, your lightning bolt, and it should get all those colors out of there and make it look uh, more like a lightning bolt. You can uh, lighten it up or darken it. I'm going to just leave it right where it was. Zero. Uh, two is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's what we have. So the next thing that you want to do is just select that layer, uh, press Control T, or you can go up to Object, or excuse me, Image. Um, here. Go up to Image. Um, I'm 
sorry. You go to Edit, Transform, and then Scale. And that'll do the same thing as pressing Control T. Uh, that's funny, I, uh, I always press Control T, so it took me a couple seconds to think of where that was. Okay, uh, the next thing that you do is you kind of shrink it down to the size that you want it to be to make it look like it's coming out of one of these clouds. We'll just have it come out right there. And then uh, you simply, what you'll do is you'll click on your mask, get your eraser back out, and you want uh, a pretty big eraser. I'm going to use 900 pixels, and I'm going to make the hardness at zero. And what you'll do is you'll just get right over the top of the end of these, and you'll just kind of erase it until it looks like it's kind of coming out of one of those clouds. And I erased it just a little too much. Um, in there. So what I'll do is I'll take my brush tool and I'm going to go right below where I uh, did that and I'm going to brush it in a little bit and then uh, maybe hit it with the eraser one or two more times just to make it look like that. Now down here I'll just go ahead and do that soft uh, eraser as well. But also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer up above and I'm going to take my brush, which is just right here, and I'm going to take a, a nice white color, and I'm just going to color the base right in, right here. And you can do this as much as you want. Um, you can do it real drastic if you want. Um, but I usually like a little bit more stuff, but I'm just going to show you what, uh, what I'm doing here. Then you uh, paint it in white, and you go to uh, your overlay, uh, like that. Or let's see what screen looks like. You definitely want overlay for this. Overlay. And you have this nice uh, looking shape. And you can see that that just doesn't look real at all. So what you'll do is go to filter now, blur, Gaussian blur. And uh, this will blur it as you actually do it. So you can see that the more that you blur it, the more realistic it looks. That looks pretty good. I'm going to press OK. And you can see that that lightning bolt comes right down and uh, it looks like it's striking the ground here. You might, uh, uh, if you want, uh, look up a tutorial on how to make fire or something that's a little bit more involved than I'm going to get into this one. And if you want to make it more uh, elaborate like that, you just copy the layer and paste it right on top of itself. And if it's too much, you just take the opacity down a little bit. Something, let's take it down 50%. It'll look something like that, and that's looking pretty good. Um, as you can see, I did this pretty quick, and uh, you can tell that this cloud's a little bit farther in the background than from where I've uh, had it striking, so that doesn't look quite right. Um, but that's an easy fix as well. You just go back to your clipping mask, go to your eraser, and you just erase it right to where you think that it should be hitting the ground. You can take these two layers and move that right up right up there too. Shrink it down by pressing Control T and just shrink it right down. And now you've moved your lightning to where you think that it should be striking. And uh, and now that's this layer is definitely too strong so we'll just make it that one. And just made that invisible. And now you have your lightning and uh, now you know how to do that and that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I showed you a few extra things there. I hope that didn't bug you. Um, you could certainly have quit earlier, and I'm sure you did, if you, uh, if it bugged you. So, <laughs> in that case, uh, please subscribe to my channel, um, watch my other videos, tell your friends, find me on Twitter and Facebook, and thanks for watching.